everybody, Stephanie here with Winnie City Crafts. Happy October, how's everybody doing? Um, so I had a follower request that I do something a little bit different. So as you could tell, I did bleach this shirt, but the request was to try a different colored shirt. So I said, okay, yeah, let's try it because let's see if it works. So I'm gonna try it so you guys don't have to, and this way I could test it out before you guys go out and purchase the products and the shirts and the bleach and everything. So um, I picked up one of these shirts from, um, from Hobby Lobby. They were like $3 or so. Um, you could pick any color you would like. I went with purple. I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with this shirt. I did use a cut out sign from Dollar Tree, but this time I wanted to use my Cricut machine. So I did just create this, um, this little cutout with using um, Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. However, because we are using it on a t-shirt, even though this is permanent vinyl, it's you could take it off of the shirt once you are done bleaching so this is my first time attempting this so crossing my fingers that it works out just as well as this one did so let's go ahead and get started okay so i got my shirt here have it have it on a um, flat surface i did not pre-wash this shirt it's just the way that i purchased it so you want to just grab a box. I'm just going to use one of these um, United U UPS box, whichever. Any kind of box will work. This will just prevent any bleeding of the bleach because you want to make sure that the bleach does not go through to the back of the shirt. Okay, make sure it's nice and lined up. Make sure there are no wrinkles. Obviously, this hasn't been washed. I did not iron it ahead of time. I'm just gonna kind of go with it. Um, but there are a little bit of wrinkles, but I think I should still be okay. So again, I made this off of my Cricut. So I'm just gonna peel off the backing. Again, this is Oracle 651 vinyl. You can get this off of Amazon. And then the transfer tape that I'm using is just something I got from Dollar Tree. It's just clear, um, clear, transparent, magic cover, clear vinyl. Okay. So you wanna make sure that you get it nice and centered. So I like to just follow the tag. The tag is up there. So I'm just gonna have it, um, I'm gonna use that as my guide. And that looks okay to me. And I'm just gonna press this down, make sure that that is completely adhered. Now you could use the scraper tool that comes with Cricut. I, I lost mine, so I'm just gonna use a credit card just to make sure that this is nice and adhered. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm gonna slowly peel up the transfer tape. If you're using your Cricut, you might have to hold the shirt a little bit because it looks like that um, vinyl is trying to peel off with the um, with the transfer tape. So again, just go super slow to make sure that everything is sticking to the shirt. If you have to use your scraper tool, again, go ahead and do that. Just be patient. All right, so once you have, whoop. okay, so once you have that transfer tape pulled off, I'm just gonna go around it to make sure that the vinyl is sticking all over the shirt. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. Okay. All right, so 
I'm just using plain bleach. So I just picked up this little bottle from Dollar Tree. You could also find the um, big jug of the Dollar Tree bleach as well. But I did not dilute this. This is just pure bleach. Um, and then I have it on the spray setting. And I'm just going to focus on just the area that the vinyl is on. So let's go ahead and just begin spraying. And then you want to just let it sit and have that bleach start um, working its magic. I can already see it. It's kind of turning a pink color. I'm just going to grab a paper towel and I'm just going to start dabbing some of that excess bleach off of my vinyl. Oh, this looks cute. It turned it into like a pink. That looks really cool. Do you, ah, look at how cool. Okay, so now if you wanna neutralize the bleach, um, if you start seeing that your shirt is looking a little yellowish, um, you could always just grab some hydrogen peroxide and just spray that right over the bleach. And I did not dry this. This is actually within a few minutes after applying the bleach. Again, this just kind of neutralizes the bleach so you don't get that yellowish orange color, especially if you're using a black t-shirt. But this turned it pink. This looks so cute. Okay. Dabbed off my excess, excess, excess. <laughs> now I'm just gonna grab my little um, pick tool I'm just gonna start taking off the vinyl. This looks so cute. Okay, once that is complete, look at that. Is that not so cute? Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit just for a minute. Um, probably about five to ten minutes or so and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to rinse this under some cool water and then all you have to do is just um, put it in your um, washer um, just using regular or mild um, laundry soap you want to wash it in a cool setting and then I normally just tumble dry um, or use my dryer on a low heat setting. And then that's it. Then you're done. So this is how this one came out. I am very impressed. There was no bleeding at all. Um, it just came out gorgeous. So I hope this inspires you guys to go out and create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle this video. Thank you so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.